Okay, for core insurance in health insurance, um, the policy holder is required yeah, to bear a portion of the medical cost. Yeah, a portion of the medical cost covered by the contract in an agreed rate. There is a rate. Yeah, how much? How, what's the percentage for the policy holder to to bear the portion? Okay, after taking into account the deductible provision, if any. Okay, let's say the percent, agreed percentage is 80 20. Uh, that means this one will be um, covered by the insurance, insurance company, uh, the medical costs. And this one, 20% will be. Um, Borne by the policy holder. Okay, this is actually percent percentage. Okay, so let's okay let's see example uh, seven. Yeah, Madam Chen has a major medical insurance uh, policy with a deductible provision of five hundred and. Uh, Co-insurance percentage participation clause in her policy is 75-25. Okay, so calculate the cost borne by the insurance company and also Madam Chen herself if the medical cost, medical cost is uh, 20,600. Uh, 20, so first, first you have to uh, calculate the medical costs after deductible yeah? because um, only she can only claim after she pay the deductible yeah? medical costs after deductible deductible is 20,600 minus 500 okay so this is the amount uh, medical cost yeah this is the medical cost so how much is for the company company to pay okay for company remember this is for company yeah this is for company this one is for policy holder so company is 75% times with 20,100 so company will only pay 15,075 ringgit yeah and for policy holder policy holder it's 25 percent yeah 25 percent out of 20,100 so um, Madam Chen have to bear the cost of yeah how much okay five thousand uh, twenty five ringgit but remember uh, in order for for the claim. For Madam Chen eligible for the compensation, have to uh, pay the deductible. Yeah, have to pay the deductible five hundred. Okay, so the total cost is actually five five two five. Yeah, because it is in the contract provision. Yeah. Okay, this is Madam Chen have to pay and. This one, the company will pay. Okay. Okay. So here is some guidelines for you. Yeah, for to choose the best insurance. I'm sure when you have uh, finished your study, you graduated. Of course, you will uh, buy insurance. Yeah, for yourself. So first thing is. Find out the total coverage needed. Yeah, total coverage, and then second, understand the scope of the coverage. Yeah, and the terms and condition of the policy. You have to really uh, 
understand that yeah and then number three you have to compare the premium rates and the insurance benefits yeah you can um, check uh, a few companies yeah? check a few companies few insurance companies and number four you avoid unnecessary unnecessary coverage sometimes they will add on yeah you should uh, add this one la, that one yeah so you have to really check on that huh? okay let's say one example here just nita wants to buy medical insurance policy for herself huh? so she compare benefits of policy the two different insurance huh? xx and yy so do you see here you see here huh? the overall annual limit is uh, 50,000 uh, overall annual limit yeah 50,000 this is the compensation she will get lah if she uh, <clears throat> have problems with her health yeah so hospital room for xx it's uh, 1,000 uh, 160 and this one is 200 okay and maximum is 360 days per year but this one only 200 days huh? 200 days okay for intensive care unit <clears throat> for insurance xx uh, whatever the hospital charge the company will pay maximum of 90 days huh, per annum but for company yy <coughs> only 400 yeah 400 per uh, will be paid by the company so for daily government hospital cash allowance uh, this one is more 100 yeah this one is only 50 and only for 200 days but this one is so whole year yeah and the annual premium it seems that xx is cheaper yeah this is cheaper compared to yy <clears throat> so which policy do you think jasnita is better for jasnita so of course if you see here xx policy is better xx policy is better because uh, even though it provide the same overall annual limit of 50000 annual premium is lower yeah for xx this one it is uh where's the annual uh, premium yes this one is lower compared to here yeah besides the benefit offered is better in terms of coverage period whole year yeah for hospital room and board and daily government hospital cash allowance for the whole year <coughs> In addition, there is no coverage limit for intensive care unit because the compensation is spread according to the amount charged to the policy holder. Unlike uh, YY, which has a limit of 400, the same coverage period. So this one no limit as charge. Yeah? If you the, the hospital you you were uh, admitted to intensive care unit, and then in the private uh, hospital, ah. Uh, and then the hospital charge let's say 1000 so company the insurance company will pay 1000 as charge no limit but for this one there is a limit only pay 400 so you have to pay the 600 by yourself yeah so overall it's xx is better yeah so that's how you 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 choose your uh, insurance uh, policy which company is better they are different from every company yeah so you have to be very uh, wise and have to really check yeah okay i think that's all for our chapter three i hope you can understand and it helps you to be a better uh, math student especially in this new chapter about um, insurance yeah okay that's all bye bye